Good afternoon everyone, it is David Schlotthauer here with a detailed update on your weather forecast for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, including for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, as a huge weather pattern shift is coming to your location with much warmer temperatures across the eastern U.S. with much bigger storms coming for the western half of the United States. Now, if you are new to the YouTube channel and you really like these detailed weather videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. So taking a look at your Christmas Eve forecast for this evening, and we can see definitely stormy across the Pacific Northwest. You're dealing with a lot of heavy snow, strong winds, freezing rain and more rain for Oregon and Washington. This is pretty extreme for them to see a lot of this ice accumulation up here for the last few days and also a lot of snow to the north of that. Our winter storm that has caused many problems including a lot of devastation. Winter storm Elliot is now moving out of the area but still lake effect snow will continue over these areas through Christmas Day. So even so, say like portions uh, or most of the nation is looking dry, maybe your localized area like Buffalo, Watertown, Michigan, maybe northern Wisconsin will be in and out of lake effect snow through the day tomorrow. And that continues into Christmas Day with another winter storm coming down from the north. This system is a lot weaker though over the Dakotas over Minnesota, but it is going to bring another reassurance of cold Arctic air with it, but this is a lot more weaker in terms of how much colder air it does bring, but it's going to add on to more of the impacts that you already have been dealing with in that region. Still lake effect snow going on across the Great Lakes for your Christmas Day with quieter weather hopefully before more extreme wet weather comes back across the west and more on that in just a little bit. All right, but much of the nation here is looking pretty quiet as far as your weather pattern goes. Certainly a lot more uneventful than it was say like a couple of days ago when you when we were dealing with winter storm Elliot that thing was a beast so that's out of the area and then looks a lot better by the time we go into say Monday and Tuesday very quiet weather across the entire United States but that does not mean it's going to be quiet in other places. A great example is look at this storm system impacting the Pacific Northwest and California we are going to get some big time rainfall that are already issuing flood watches, hydrological outlooks because of this storm system. This is a monster that's going to be hitting California, Oregon, Washington, including for high elevation snow. So if you're doing any traveling ahead of New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, just keep in mind there might be more flight cancellations, delays, and even road delays as well because there's going to be a lot of inclement weather here. But otherwise, much of the nation looking pretty quiet. All right, and then that continues into the Rockies. Maybe more snow for the four corners by Wednesday and also for the northern Rockies getting a little bit of snow. But notice here, much of the eastern U.S. going to have some quiet weather. Really nothing much to talk about unless you're across the west. Again, this is really going to take aim with more of the active weather. It's our turn versus, say, you all that have dealt with Elliot. We're going to be dealing with a whole different story here if, uh, if you live in California. So that's going to continue. Storm after storm, more flood concerns. Now, just in time for, say, perhaps New Year's Eve, another storm brews out here across the deep south, the Midwest, maybe the Great Lakes. We could see some freezing rain, but there's a lot of uncertainty in regards to the European and the GFS model to see if that's actually going to happen. Now, there is a chance for severe weather out of this one because, again, this is a much lower latitude cyclone. So it kind of starts way down here in Texas and it moves actually northward. So there might be some severe weather with that. But again, still raining hard in California. Lots of needed precipitation out west. And that's going to continue all the way into Monday. Another big storm hits California. More intense snowfall. 
could see snowfall amounts here up in the 100 to 200 inch range if this all ends up being true throughout the next 10 days. Again, that's what the model shows. The European's been pretty consistent over the last few days at indicating that we're going to continue this wet pattern into early January with, again, on again, off again shower chances in the Midwest and the Deep South. Um, showery, no snow, no freezing rain to really worry about unless you're really far to the north. And that's because big time weather pattern changes with the warmer temperatures are coming. In fact, you might not even find temperatures in the 20s as far north as perhaps even the Great Lakes just showing you how much warm air advection is going to be occurring. So now, how much rainfall could we see in the next 10 days? Depending on where you're at, very little to no precipitation is expected here over the high plains, unfortunately. You really need the rain, but it looks like you're not going to get anything um, anytime soon that is significant. If you're in the Midwest and the Deep South, you can get anywhere between two to four inches of rainfall. But again, that's off of one model run and if we compare other model runs we can see just how much changes there are going to be this is not a set in stone forecast literally just uh, a day ago yeah a day ago there wasn't really going to be much in the way of rainfall at all for the deep south now the european models thinks that there might be a little more expected so keep uh, stay up to date here as far as that goes here on the channel not only that California, Oregon, Washington, big time rain. We're talking inches, four to 10 inches of rainfall over California. Northern California can get even up to a foot of rain in the next 10 days. And Oregon and Washington, the Cascades, really getting hammered with a lot of storms. It's going to be wild here. Strong winds, heavy rainfall, heavy mountain snow for the higher elevations. And of course, that's going to impact your travel. Rainfall anomalies, well above average here for the West. I mean, it, you'll see the Climate Prediction Center here in just a bit, and it's going to highlight a lot of green back here to the West. So that's good news. Way above average in many areas here in California that exceed the five-inch mark uh, on the anomaly chart. And then, of course, for the Midwest, it's kind of a up and down deal. We might, there again, models are still trying to figure out exactly how much rain you might get in the next 10 days. But right now, you're looking at near average to slightly above normal rainfall totals there in the Midwest and the Deep South in the next 10 days. Now, we're going to turn our focus now, and a lot of you, I know you don't live in California, but again, we got to really look at this. This is very important stuff because the we're going to get a series of big storms, not only for California, but also for Oregon and Washington. So when we take a look at the latest satellite imagery, we can see a very active Pacific weather pattern is getting ready to set up here. We got our first weather system that is moving into the Oregon-Washington border right now. That system is departing the area by tonight. And then another system out here is going to be moving in its wake and follow this system up here as we have a ridge of high pressure that is over California. This is not the ridiculous resilient ridge as this will be breaking down and moving into the desert southwest and the deep south. And so we're going to get a lot of active weather pattern systems here um, developing in the Pacific. And they're going to be headed our way, making a beeline into California. And this is going to kickstart a very amplified weather pattern for stormy weather, lots of rain, wind, and snowfall for the higher elevations. This is well modeled on the European model and has been consistent for quite some time now. I've been looking at the models over the last few days. Hasn't been a lot of differentials or diversity among the, each run. So we have pretty good confidence that we're going to have a lot of rain, strong winds, and snowfall over the next, say, five days at least. Ten days, still questionable. So let's run it through here. This is the geopotential height or your jet stream air mass forecast as well as your air pressure. And so we can see um, by Sunday that ridge is over us. That stays on top of us through Sunday and Monday. But take note of what's going on out here back across the Central Pacific. All these weather systems are lining up 
and they're getting ready to hit California. So when we go forward, we can see our first system hits the Pacific Northwest in California by Monday night into Tuesday. That's what most of the numerical global computer models strongly suggest that that's when the timing is. That's when our first storm system is going to arrive and it's a big one. We're not talking a weak storm here. Usually the first storm is always the appetizer. This one is going to be the big one and it's gonna bring a lot of needed rainfall for California. And then after that, that goes by and we're just in a kind of a zonal flow, westerly flow over our area. So we're gonna get rain chances in here between storms with a lot of orographic effects. So more intense rainfall is anticipated for the higher elevations of the foothills of the Sierra, the coastal range mountains of Oregon, Washington, and California. And then this continues. Another big storm hits us by the time we go into Saturday, into or wait, into Friday and Saturday, December 29th into the 30th. This one also looks very wet and juicy. Lots of moisture advection with this storm. And then another one hits us by the time we go into Saturday into Sunday. So it's again, storm after storm. And then potentially another big one coming our way by the time we go into New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, and even possibly beyond that, as we can see here on the flow. So a very active Pacific jet stream is going to change the weather pattern back, back east so you don't get the Arctic temperatures that you've been dealing with. So there is a change in the weather pattern coming your way for a lot of people. So this is well modeled as far as your temperature anomaly forecast. These are one day average anomalies, by the way. So if you guys are wondering uh, about that, this is what it's showing. So it's not gonna be exact because this is an average. It's gonna put a less weight off of exact temperature anomalies throughout the hour and the period. So we can see here going forward uh, throughout the next three to four days, yes, the Arctic temperatures are going to remain in place, but look what happens by days five and six between the 29th and the 30th of December, your temperature anomalies are going to go up. So we are you, you are expecting well above average, potentially record breaking temperatures and maybe in extreme cases, there might be all time records set literally on the same month after having historically cold temperatures. So you're just going from one extreme to the next extreme potentially here as far as the European model goes. And that continues very far above average temperatures all the way into day seven and day eight. So you could get the shorts out. You can get the flip flops out for one thing. You don't need your big heavy coats because it's going to be warming up. It's gonna be very far above average, a whole different seasonal pattern change coming your way. So taking a look at the air temperatures, I'm gonna go through this really quickly because that Arctic uh, air is gonna come out of the north again. So expect some very cold mornings through Monday, but after that pressures or that system goes through, we can see warm air advection is going to keep the cold Arctic air well to the north of the United States. So we're gonna see temperatures in the 30s and 40s and then eventually possibly into the 50s and 60s as far north as Michigan and Southern Wisconsin. So a whole different change ball game here with the weather pattern. And it looks like that's gonna continue all the way into the end of the forecast period as far as your temperatures go. So good changes coming. I've got some good news and that's the good news. Warmer temperatures and not so stormy like it was with Elliot that you guys had to deal with. So at least we get a fair share of weather conditions. So now, as far as the Climate Prediction Center goes, let me switch my scenes here. We can see that the six to 10 day forecast calls for above average rainfall more than likely it seems to be over again the upper midwest the deep south the ozarks with well above average chances again these are probabilities 70 to 80 percent chance that california will have above average rainfall including for um, nevada the four corners this is definitely well needed news for us. We have had a really good winter so far with a lot of these storms hitting California. We've been dry for the last two weeks, but hey, that's pretty typical for California standards, right? We get these ridges that build in, they last for two weeks and they break down, it gets replaced by a lot of rainfall. That's what we're gonna see now. 
Now, as far as temperatures go, this is absolutely astounding. The next six to 10 days, look at the Great Lakes, the Northeast, as well as the Eastern Seaboard. You have a 90 to 100% chance you're going to have above average temperatures. That is literally likely that you're not going to have anything close to normal or below average. It's like just what I said, you're going to see a warm up. it looks like as far as the forecast goes from December the 30th through January 3rd, probably even before that, perhaps as early as uh, Thursday, you're going to have a huge warm up and it's going to thaw the snow out nicely and that's going to lead to some nice conditions to do anything outdoors, right? Mild, nice and quiet, at least for the eastern half. Then, of course, when we go into January 1st and the 7th, this is the 8 to 14 day precipitation forecast from the Climate Prediction Center. We can see still above average, likely for California, Nevada, the Four Corners, because again, that atmospheric river of storminess will continue with, again, uh, leaning above average chances over much of the nation. So definitely quieter, not as active, because again, our pattern is changing. Temperatures still very far above average potentially that's the likelihood all the way from um, the high plains into the midwest into the northeast the eastern seaboard likely to have that kind of pattern set up so certainly some good news and i love bringing good news to you all so after you can get through probably tuesday and wednesday things are going to change. It's going to warm up. You're not going to have to deal with any more Arctic invasions, at least for the time being. Maybe something comes up in mid to late January. We just don't know yet. But for right now, it looks like the pattern is changing big time for much of the eastern nation with lots of rain and stormy weather back west. I have it all, um, and I'm going to keep you all updated on this. But you could only get the latest, folks, if you do subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really means a lot to me um, as I try my best at providing the most accurate weather information for you all as far as what the models are showing, what they're telling me, what I'm going to extrapolate that into a video, and everything like that. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps out a lot. Share this video with your family and friends and get the word out, as well as leave a comment in the section below and check out my Weather Force Discord server. There are all those links in the description below this video. Thank you all for watching this, and I'll be back with you more on Monday with more updates on the big stormy weather back west.